how to make an overlay in CapCut. Before we talk about the necessary steps, let me make a few things clear. CapCut has its very own way to display overlays. And the way they do it might be very confusing for you, especially if you have a video editing background and are used to edit videos on a desktop device using software such as Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. What is confusing, for example, is the fact that an overlay will actually appear under the main clip and not over it, which in my opinion at least is super confusing because after all it is called an overlay and not an underlay. So with that said, let us have a look at the exact steps at how to make an overlay in CapCut. First of all, tap on the click that you would like to make an overlay for. And now you would probably think that in the toolbar at the bottom, you could simply tap on overlay. But when you do that, you will get the message, keep at least one clip. That's another very confusing thing, but this is just how CapCut works. So instead of doing that, what you have to do is to actually make a copy of your main clip first. You can do that by selecting copy at the bottom. This copy will then automatically be attached to the end of your original video clip. Another weird thing. Now, in order for us to use this copy as an overlay, what you have to do is to once again select the original clip on the left by tapping on it. Once you have selected that clip at the bottom, you can then tap on overlay. And finally, we got our overlay in CapCut. You can use an overlay like that for many things. For example, you can use it to blur certain parts of your video. If that is something that you're interested in, make sure to watch the next video on my channel. Have a good one. Bye.